Nairobi this morning to oversee the commencement of post-mortem examinations led by government chief pathologist Johansen Udur on the bodies exhumed from Shakahola Forest. Now the post-mortem exercise on the 100 bodies will be seeking, among other things, to prove whether the body organs were harvested. Odi Cherotic with the details. Interior CS Kithure Kindiki arrived in Malindi this morning to oversee the autopsy process of the exhumed bodies from Shakahola. The autopsy conducted by the government chief pathologist Dr. Johansen Odwar is expected to reveal the cause of the death of over a hundred bodies that have so far been exhumed. The team of pathologists who are here, uh, we also have the team from DCI, uh, particularly the team from the homicide unit and the forensics unit for purposes of uh, DNA. And then we also have the team from the government chemist, which will deal with toxicology and, uh, and other tests uh, that uh, require uh, chemical uh, uh, analysis. The CS say that allegations that some bodies had missing organs will be known after the exercise, saying that the government will not hide any information. If the theory of organ harvesting is proved, whether that is part of the scope of the investigation, definitely. If any of our people have their organs missing, we'll tell the world. There is nothing we are hiding. That is the truth. And we'll have to find out why those organs are missing, who took them and where, and therefore this is a long and protracted process of accountability. I'm just praying for patience as we go step by step. But yes, Brenda, we will tell the world if any of the bodies have organs of their bodies missing. Thank you. According to Dr. Odwar, the family of the missing people will be required to submit their DNA samples, which will then be matched with those from the exhumed bodies in the ongoing process. We are going to be doing the autopsies in teams and uh, once we finish we'll do the briefing as uh, a it will take time Tell because the the dna is not a process whereby you just march today and tomorrow we are going to say voila this is the the test it's a process so it might not take a, a one day or two day it might even take one month or more yes. his remarks come as the government intensifies the search and rescue mission of the people missing in the 800 acre plot of land in shakahola forest kilifi county which was being used by the controversial pastor paul mackenzie audrey cherotich